set your feet free. Recently, I had an experience where I went out to a trampoline park with some friends. And um, I thought it would be fun, but it didn't take long from being there. And I landed weird, and I twisted my ankle. And at first, it was okay, and it was really painful, but the pain started to ease, and I relaxed. And I thought I could carry on jumping. Um, so I carried on, and then I was just walking normally, and I twisted it again. And this time, it hurt really badly, and I couldn't walk anymore. So I limped off to the side to uh, recover. And uh, it was a bit embarrassing, but for a few days after that, I had, a, I had to walk with a crutch. And it was really disappointing. I felt, I felt really guilty. And so I went, I went to the Lord, and I, f I went and did a random verse. And uh, this verse came up. It was in Psalms 25. It said, My eyes are always towards the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. And I had the NIV translation, which means he will, he'll set my feet free from the snare. And I thought it was kind of a, a funny scripture, actually, from what I experienced. So I thought maybe the Lord wanted me to speak about it. So I put together the notes about it. Perhaps you've done something like this yourself. You've gone out and jumped in to do something and ended up hurting yourself. And when I did it, I really I felt kind of stupid and guilty. I felt guilty that I had maybe messed, up for my, messed it up for my friends who were there. I felt like, had I done the right thing, I was, it, it, didn't, it didn't go as planned. And I wondered if I'd really done the right thing or not. I felt like a guilt coming on me. But I, th I see a bit of a spir spiritual significance in this. Because your feet, they're like your everyday walk in your spiritual life. They're, they're what you use to get around and travel. But where have you been walking? You can walk in lots of different places. You can do something you shouldn't do. You can walk in places you shouldn't, or you can walk in the right place. And that is really what I saw the meaning in the scripture that I wanted to share about. Have you, have you been walking in the right place? Or do you feel guilty about where you walk and where you go and the things that you do? What does it mean? What, is, what does it mean? Where the what is the significance of where you walk and where you stand? Well, you can walk in lots of different places. You can, if you're walking barefoot, you can walk on things that hurt your feet. You can maybe walk on ice, which is slippery, and you'll slip and fall. But the place you should be walking on, of course, is solid ground, where you can stand firm and walk with confidence without hurting yourself or slipping. You should be in, con in complete control of where you are walking all the time. It shouldn't, you shouldn't have to worry about where you're walking. You shouldn't walk where you can fall easily or slip and hurt yourself unless you believe that you can handle that because maybe, maybe you are meant to be walking there, but you can't handle it yet. That's one of the, the main points I want to I wanna talk about. Where, where are you standing right now with the Lord in your walk? Are you committed to following the Lord, or are you walking on the path that you know you shouldn't be walking on? Because where you stand, where you stand is really important. It's, it's the foundation of your walk with the Lord, and it's what He died to set you free from, that you can walk where you want to walk. And... It's really important that you stand on the right foundation and walk in the right place. Jesus set you free to walk in the right place and to stand firm and to stand in Him. But in the end, it's still a choice. It's still your own choice where you're going to walk and what you're going to do. Maybe you choose to walk into the trap, into the snare that the enemy has set for you. You choose to stand in the wrong place and you think maybe that because the Lord has set you free, it will be fine. But you still get trapped in that snare because you chose to walk there. And you get caught again. But the Lord gave us things to stand on. He gave us uh, things that we should be standing on and that we should make the choice to stand on. 
And the first one he gave us is the promises of his word. He promised, he promised us that he would never leave us or forsake us. He promised us that he would always be there for us, that he would lift us up, that he would use us even in our weaknesses. And one of the most important promises I see in the word is that he said that he will never change. He will always be there and he will always fulfill his promises. But that also means more, doing more than just standing on the promises in the word, but also looking to him and looking to his face because a lot of people, they just stand on the promises of the word, and that's fine because that is our foundation. But he also wants us to have a relationship with him and to walk with him and look to his face. Recently, we had a, had a uh, seminar called the School of Blessing where uh, the prime, one of the main things taught in the seminar was walking in the spirit. And it really, it was a challenge to me, and I think that's, uh, a lot of why I saw this in the scripture. It was a real challenge to me about how to walk in the spirit and uh, make the right choices. And the thing is, do you really look to the Lord in everything that you do? Do you consider the things that he, that he wants for you? Or do you have a relationship with him and ask him if this is the right thing to do? Or do you just walk, uh, walk where you want to walk? We should be looking to him in everything and asking him to show us which is the right way to go. <laughs> the other thing that, we sh that he gave us to look to is other believers around us. Because if you're trapped in the snare, it's, it's, it can be easy to look to the Lord and say, uh, Lord, set me free from the snare. But maybe he'll send other believers to set you free. Other, other believers that can come and show you where you've gone wrong. Are you willing to accept the help from them or are you just going to ask it from the Lord? Because the Lord is in them and he works through people. They come to help you and set you free. One of the most important things, I think, when you make the wrong step or the wrong choice in your walk with the Lord is to learn from your mistakes. Because there will be failure. We are sinful creatures. There will be failure at times. There will, be, there will always be a time that you will fail and fall into the flesh and walk, in the wrong, uh, walk the wrong path. But will you learn from it and get help from the Lord and not do it again? Or will you still fall into that trap again? Perhaps you're feeling trapped today, as I've been sharing, and you feel like your feet are caught and you can't walk freely, you can't fully do what the Lord has called you to do, and you're not sure what it is that's trapping you right now or holding you back, uh, it's quite possible that you walked in the wrong path then and that your feet were trapped. But the Lord promised you victory. He promised you freedom to walk and to set your feet free to go where he has called you to go to. He doesn't blame you or condemn you for walking into this trap. He just, he's there to set you free from it. He just waits for you to look to him to set you free. And he doesn't condemn you or put you down for walking in the trap. Because he knows, he knows what path you were going to take and he knew that you would get in the trap. It wasn't a surprise to him. He wants you to stand bold and confident knowing that you're not going to walk into the trap anymore. He wants you to walk freely. Now, sometimes when I go for a walk in our backyard, I go for a walk without any, sh without any shoes or barefoot. And there's often thorns in the bush that hurt me. And so it's not always nice walking out there. But all I have to do is put on shoes and then I can walk anywhere that, I've, anywhere that I want. There's no problems. It doesn't hurt anymore. So this is what the Lord wants to give you. He wants to give you shoes that you can walk in those places and not get hurt. Because the scripture says that we are in this world, but we are not of it. But that means we're still in the world. We're still meant to go out into the world. So we need his protection and his confidence that we can go out without hurting ourselves. That we can do the things he has for us in the world and we can go freely without the fear that, he's, that we're going to get hurt. 
doing this is really as simple as just looking to Him, like I shared before, in, both in the Word and looking to Him, spending time with Him, praying and waiting on Him to give you a good direction to go. You can find Him anywhere. It's as easy as closing your eyes right now. Or you can look to other believers who can give you a direction if you feel like you're not hearing the Lord correctly. Because He will work through them and He will give them what is needed for you. Only He can really set you free from this. No, no one else can, only He can. He will work through people and He will set you free, but you must look to Him and He will fulfill His promise. Now, one of the most important things I see uh, when you're set free is uh, the reason that He sets you free to walk. It's not just so that you can run around and be free and do whatever you want. He has a purpose for you to fulfill. He wants you to go out and set others free as well. It's not just for you, for yourself. He wants you to go and show them how they can walk in freedom. And that is one of the most important things, I think, that once you are set free, you go and you give back to others. And you give out and you set them free as well from uh, the wrong steps that they have been taking. That might mean also stepping out, stepping into the trap for others as well. Stepping out into a place maybe that's dangerous so that you can save them as well. Because that's what the Lord has called us to do, to reach other people, to reach out into the world. We're not supposed to just sit, sit in our safe zone and do nothing. The Lord wants you to have the boldness to do that. He wants you to stand confident and know who you are, and then you can go out into the world without worrying about hurting yourself, but going to rescue others and give out instead. Are you feeling trapped today now? Is it, did you maybe do something that you weren't meant to do? Well, the Lord wants to set you free right now. He wants to put you on that path again. And he wants to heal any wounds that you, have, that you have received as you were walking out there. Only he can fully heal those wounds. So just give it up to him now and let him take it from you. And then you can stand on the right place. You can stand in that confidence knowing that he has placed you here and that you are on solid ground and that you can walk forward boldly. And you can set your feet free and walk forward. I feel like there, there are a few people now watching this who are struggling with this. And I just want to lift you up to the Lord. And I want to ask that he sets your feet free now. You can see that it's like you've been walking and you have blisters on your feet. You've stepped on the wrong things. But the Lord wants to heal those right now. And I just thank you, Lord. I just lift up each of these people now to you. I just give them to you, Lord, and I ask that you would put your healing balm right now, that you would just restore them, that they can walk confidently again. Every bit of pain that they have suffered in this world, that you would place them on your solid ground, that they can go back with confidence and face those hurts again. I thank you, Lord, for now. I thank you for completing your work and showing them the way that they should be walking now. Thank you for it, Lord. When your feet are free to go, you can walk with confidence again, and then you can boldly go and do what the Lord has called you to do. Amen. Mm -hmm.